What's up everybody? This is the Ocean City Boardwalk and we're about to get some fried snacks. So let's go. There's so many choices here. Ocean City Boardwalk checking out North Pole Lemonade and their deep fried snacks. I'm gonna start off by trying a deep fried Reese's. You can't tell it's a Reese's, but uh, <laughs> there it is. I'll show you once I take a bite. Let's try this. I literally do not know what to expect. Oh my God, <laughs> look at that. This is, de this is delicious. Whoa, Reese's are one of my favorite candies. Nothing gets better than peanut butter and chocolate mixed. And this is fried, so it's nice and warm and gooey. Holy crap, this is amazing. Wow, I'm speechless. I am without speech. Just imagine the breading warm chocolate, warm peanut butter. It's, it's flavor explosion in your mouth. Now I'm gonna try the deep fried Snickers, which is arguably one of the best candy bars on the market, if you ask me. Okay, I will say, I prefer the Reese's over the Snickers, but the Snickers is delicious. There's the inside of the Snickers. I don't know if you can see it really well. You got your uh, chocolate, your nougat, the peanuts. The breading and the powdered sugar actually adds to the flavor of the Snickers. And like the Reese's cup, it's just warm and gooey. The chocolate's melting, all the ingredients. I would never think to get a fried Reese's or a fried Snickers but they're worth trying at least once. These are absolutely banging. Right here, we've got pretty much, I think the staple of fried food right here, which is gonna be the Oreos. Every time you think fried food, like carnivals, the beach, I think Oreo is probably one of the ones that's like at the very top of your mind. And then we have the Twinkie right here as well. But let's go ahead and check out the Oreo and let's see how tasty this is, shall we? Ooh, that's so smooth. Look at on the inside there. I mean, look, you've probably seen an Oreo. I've seen a hundred of them, obviously, but uh, I like the, uh, there's something to be said for the idea about deep frying it because then it melts everything down in the middle and what you get is just a smoother experience. I mean, I like a crunchy Oreo. I like an Oreo dipped in milk. But if I can walk over here and get this thing where it's already melted down and it's soft and it goes down so smooth, I'll take it all day. This is pretty, this is pretty solid right here. And when you get to the top end, it's got a nice little crunch on the fried part. So I'm a fan of that. I do like that. Let's go ahead and try out this Twinkie here. This thing is interesting because I feel like a Twinkie is always normally really soft from the jump. So what, I mean, how much more softer can you make a Twinkie? But we'll find out together. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 whoa, baby. Look at that. That thing, the, the, the short answer is, you wanna know how soft it is? This thing is like liquid, baby liquid that has got to be the softest iteration of a twinkie that i've ever consumed in my life wow the cream in the middle i i expected that to be pretty much vaporized in that damn fryer but man it's hold up very very well as has the twinkie this thing is super super soft now for pricing 
you're looking at just over seven bucks for the Reese's and about seven for the Snickers. In the Reese's defense, you get three of them and seven bucks, I mean, the boardwalk, the price markup, but for a novelty type snack that's fried, I feel it's worth it. And um, I will note that the Snickers seems to be one of the regular size Snickers, not one of the share size ones or the king size, just the standard size Snickers. So take that into account, uh, but I'd say for a novelty type snack, the price is worth it. It's a little steep, but worth it in my opinion. $9 for the Oreos. You're paying that beach tax all day long because you get six Oreos. It's not a lot, especially when you get your bigger folks. Where you at? We hungry. Nine bucks isn't gonna carry you very far, but it is pretty good. And there's something to be said for when it's melted down, it kind of like goes down your throat and almost like fills it up like it's about to just clog all your arteries or something. But it's very, very tasty. And this Twinkie, I wanna say this is roughly close to about $7. I think it's like six and some change. All together, this was like 16 bucks. Look, it's absolutely, I think, an impulse deal. If you're craving just the absolute junkiest of the junkiest food, this is what you want. Get you some. Well, that does it for this week, folks. Thank you so very much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and also tap that bell so you can be notified when we post new videos. Also, hit up theedibleadventures.com to pick up some official swag. Help support us until we can make money from these videos. And also follow us on Instagram at The Edible Adventures. And you know what time it is. This is the end screen. Check out that playlist right up there to see all of our Ocean City content. And subscribe to our channel right there. We'll catch you on the next one. Deuces. <laughs>